Hey friends, what is up? It's Crystal O, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I style my short 4C hair. As you can see, we currently have a twist out going on right now and I know sometimes um, a big struggle for me is figuring out how to style my hair after it's been in a twist out. Um, I did use um, Aunt Jackie's um, styling curling gel to um, achieve this twist out. I literally love that gel from Aunt Jackie so I'll leave that in my description bar below um, and today let's go ahead and just style my hair. Um, I might grab a few more things. I got these from H&M and I think that that they'd make for some really cute razzle dazzle on my hair especially for the holidays I'm gonna be using a edge control brush that I actually bought from the beauty supply I usually use a toothbrush so honestly y'all it is what it is sometimes you know um, and then I'm gonna be using the TGIN uh, miracle repair anti-breakage serum so basically it's kind of like an oil based serum um, I'm gonna be trying this out just to kind of you know um, use it to keep that frizz at a low you know low rate I'm also gonna be using this um, wide tooth comb that's super long I love 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 using this one I also have the standard size as well just in case I want to switch back and forth I'm also gonna be using my favorite edge control this is the kiss edge fixer glued max hold in lemon drop I believe this can be found at the beauty supply and it does work on 4c edges like mine so praise God because you know <laughs> we be struggling sometimes okay um, it is morning, so I do have my coffee, so I might be sipping it like that during the video, but no worries. I don't think it'll interfere with my hair process, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just take out these um, twist outs that we have here, but first, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just pump a few pumps of this serum onto my hand. I'm just going to kind of, you know kind of get my fingertips greasy with it and then I'm just going to kind of pat through. I'm going to start from the bottom up with the twist out to unravel like that. And then I'm just going to do that. And I can try to get close up so you guys can see. So again, I'm just going to, this is, I'm gonna take my twist out. I'm going to put a little bit more on there just probably look one square I'm going to take it greasy fingertips I'm going to start with the tip of my hair and I'm just going to take it and pop 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 so that's basically what I'm going to be doing for all the pieces of my hair I'm going to show you guys one more time before I speed this up to get the twist out out of my hair And just like that, that's kind of what it looks like. So as you can see, the twist out is already popping. Like, wow, wow. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and take the rest out and then we're gonna get to styling. So let's get this party started. All right, so this is literally the twist out of the ages, y'all. It looks so good. Like, oh my gosh, you guys see those curls? Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> But anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue styling it. So what I'm, uh-oh, mi we missed one. And I also realized that you can pull from the bottom. I mean, I did that to some of them because it takes a little while to pull from the, the you know, bottom to the top. So sometimes I do pull from the root. But um, yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and also reapply that serum. Y'all, this stuff also smells really good, <laughs> just saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it, you know, just kind of pat it on my head, not trying to create any frizz. So being really mindful of that. Also realizing that I still have a little bit more in the back, but I'm sure that, you know, as I go, I'll find some more. Um, I'm going to potentially go through and just kind of like pull apart just so I can um, get it to look more full and then after that I'm going to go through and fluff um, fluff out to kind of get an effect that I'm wanting for the style so let's go ahead and do that and yeah so applying more of the oil y'all look oil is key because like I said you don't want your hair to fluff up um, with this part I would say 
trying to divide like finding a divide that's like pretty seamless like don't create your own divide per se but finding a divide that's pretty seamless like this one I'm going to use that to my benefit so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up pow like that and then now we have two little twists and those two are basically opened up right so same thing for this one hands are oily I see a divide opportunity I'm gonna take it pow another one right here taking it pow <laughs> okay so I'm gonna continue doing this and then I will be back uh, once I'm done let's go ahead and do this one real quick and of course my hands have oil on it so that's really really important for this process as well making sure that your hands are oily and you know moisturized so that your hair can also have that residue on it so that's what we're working with right now i'm gonna go ahead and finish up with pulling apart and then we can come back and fluff and style and i think we'll be good to go after that so let's go ahead and finish this part up and if you are not subscribed make sure you subscribe for more videos from me i am planning to do vlogmas every day hopefully um but if not every day then three times a week and some kind of rhythm um but make sure you're subscribed to my channel like this video if you found it helpful or enjoyable and let's go ahead and continue All right, so now that my hair is fluffed out, I'm actually thinking about doing like a mohawk. I think that would be like really cute. Um, I'm going to go through with my pick and just kind of, I kind of want to erase the, erase the, um, the lines that kind of happened, you know, from, you know, you know, parting my hair during the twist out. So I'm gonna go through and just gently fluff up I'm not going to go through the whole, you know, from the bottom, the root to the tip, because that would just defeat the whole purpose of the curls. So I'm just going to gently go through like that. And then that kind of like fluffs it all out for me, just like that. So now I'm going to just kind of gently take this side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bobby pins over here, the gold ones. I'm probably going to use maybe quite a bit, I don't know, I just think these are so cute guys, they're gold. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just take this side and I'm just going to put that right there for now. Um, I might try to potentially see if I can get like a little cute crisscross going. I think that's kind of cute. I might need to put more than one in there though. But I think what I'm going to do actually first is I think I'm going to put some gel on it just so it can, you know, have a smoother appearance first and then we can we can put that on okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take my gel over here and my handy dandy um, edge control brush and i'm just going to well first of all i'm gonna take this little sticker tag off of it because it still has the price on there i'm just going to go ahead and dab a little bit of gel on there and then I'm just going to work work up like this. Cause the whole idea is that I, I you know I want it to kind of have a sleek effect near where that mohawk is starting. I'm gonna try to be really careful not to get my um, the curls in there so they don't get too affected by it, but just stick to the bottom. So now we kind of have that working for us. It does give us more of a sleek look. 
so now I'm going to go back in with my bobby pin and I'm going to kind of do that X that I set out to do before I guess and that looks a lot better I'm going to do one more X right here And that kind of gives me that look and I really like it I think it's cute I think my dilemma is figuring out how to like get the tightness of um, I guess like you know the hair and bobby pins but I think this works it's not too tight it's not too loose so I like it okay I'm gonna go ahead and take my gel like I did on the other side and I'm just going to lift up and just go ahead and put some on there. I'm going to put an X over here. Just like that. And then I'm going to put another X on the back end of it as well. I don't know how even my X's are. Okay, so this is all we're working with. Um, I have my bobby pins kind of set up. Um, I'm going to go through and fluff up a bit more just because I feel like, you know, there's some more fluffing that can definitely be done. I think I might go, I think I might leave this back alone just because my hair is already in a tapered cut so it doesn't really need um, any manipulation back here really truly um what i might do just to give it more enhancement is i might just go ahead and stick some bobby pins um along the sides just to kind of give it more of a hold per se and i'm gonna go through and actually fix this one i don't know about y'all but i have seen like the um i guess memes that talk about how bobby pins are supposed to go in like this and not like this so i'm gonna go ahead and try putting it in downwards real quick and see what effect I get when I do that. Okay. I kind of like it more that way. Hmm. All right. And as you can see, it's coming together. That's really pretty. Ooh, yes okay this is cute okay perfect so I'm gonna go through now and just work on my edges real quick I kind of want to pin this back just a little bit more but I think it's okay I think I'm just getting a little too like you know like micro sensitive with things so I'm gonna go ahead and just do my edges real quick Alright, so this is kind of what we have in terms of the little mohawk style that I was talking about. If this one could just lay on down, that'd be perfect. Okay, this is basically what the styling is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and put some makeup on so you guys can see what this looks like with makeup and we can go ahead and peace out. Alright, so this is basically the finished look of the hair with makeup this is what it's looking like let me know your thoughts on this style and if you would try it i really 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 like it my husband came in and he was like oh girl you looking real good i think the curls came out really really nicely and it's just a great style to try out it's very very easy it took me not very long to style it and i really really like it of course there are a few that are doing whatever they want to do up here but it's okay it's still cute um let me know if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you are new here and stay tuned for more vlogmas videos this holiday bye guys